Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is day 12 of our 21-day water fast. I pray that all of you are having an amazing day. We're actually going to be reading one scripture today because it's pretty packed. Um, and I think this one is the only one that's going to be needed today. So um, I pray that y'all are zipping and zooming through your 21-day water fast. I know it's not easy, but we're going to make it, y'all. So let's jump in. The scripture today is coming from Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. And it says, Bring the tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Wow, that's an amazing promise from God. He's saying, test me. He says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. So he's saying, give it, give, give it all. Give it all. Stop being afraid to give more than what you usually give. Give it all. And he's saying, test me. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. He said, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. And it's really, really hard for us to have that type of measure of faith where we're like, you mean I got to give more and then I'm going to get, you know? Yeah, that's what it means. You reap what you sow. God loves a cheerful giver. The right posture, walking in faith. I know God's going to bless me. And you're walking in that, that knowing, okay? God is in control of everything. Even the, the leaders in this world, even the elite, God is still above even them. We have to remember that God is in control. And many times I forget that because I start to worry. God, I don't know what I'm going to do. God, what if this happens? God, what if that happens? You know, and I'm, I'm always struggling with it in my heart. So please know that you're not alone. I worry a lot myself and that's something that I have to overcome. And that's a part of why I'm on this fast as well, because I need to build up my own faith, my own measure of um, knowing that God is going to meet the needs of all of us, including myself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into prayer. And it says, Lord, the struggle with money is a burden in my life. You promised that I can cast my burdens on you. I am giving this burden to you. Free me from the bondage of debt so that I am no longer a slave to my lenders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And a lot of us are in debt, whether it's student loan debt, we bought a home, uh, we borrowed money from someone else. And it's just an extra strain on your life, knowing I still have to pay this person. I still have to pay that company. I still have to pay my student loans. It can be a heavy burden especially when God has called you to go back to school or God led you to get that loan if he led you to it he's going to help you through it and that's something I have to remember too I can't worry about well God I'm pulling out this loan and that loan and you know, God is going to meet the need he's going to set us up for financial success so let us just have the faith y'all and as I'm doing these videos it's encouraging me it's motivating me so I pray it's motivating you and if you need an accountability partner, please email me. That's what I'm here for, to motivate, uplift, and inspire. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for day 13. Hang in there. Be blessed.